Simon goes to 11 points. He's playing well. Romano, powerful hit. Not an ace. Simon covers it, but Milano have got the reuse. Ishikawa. Oh, brilliant. So far out of system, it was virtually non-existent for Milano. Clever play from Porro. That's the reuse. That's the cheeky little tip off the top of Simon's fingers. Get out of jail card used by Milano early. Great serve from Porro. Again, Scamfurla drags his setter away from the net. Romano's missed it cross court. That's what I mean about Romano's point score in this match. Take off the errors and the 17 points. Doesn't tell you the full story. Porro again, 3-1 Milano. Better pass from Scamfurla. And they are with plenty of room. To just nudge that ball into the corner. it is to serve been on the bench quite a long time for Regine that's a good hit though oh again Ishikawa saves and they get the reuse again Ishikawa brilliant just brilliant oh it's crazy stuff from Milano talk about edge of the envelope this one was edge of the playing area and the decision to set him by Porro was superb. Two great saves from the man about to serve. And that's an ace. No, it's long. Catania and Regas straight away indicating to their coach not to challenge. That was mighty close. I thought it was closer than uh, it was in the end so no challenge used point Piacenza Simon batters his serve Catania brilliant acrobatic passing on the Milano Libro and Regas with a very awkward looking hit gets the ball off the block and out Milano continue to score continue to hold on to the lead This is turning into a bit of a nightmare evening for Piacenza. Got to dig deep here. Losa puts his serving court. The serving at the moment is really strong, both sides. What a dig from Porro. Kaziski defended by Scamferla. But the block is strong. Scamferla bumps to Lucarelli again, very tight, and he goes cheekily off pace attack on the run. Well played by Scamferla. He's had a quiet evening tonight, but Leonardo Scamferla gets in on that occasion. Look at this hustle. And bumps it right up to the tape, and Lucarelli, left handed, catches blockers and defenders sleeping. Play from him, 16 points in the bank. Second best scorer behind Romano on 17. Vitelli, middle player for Milano, remains the third best scorer in the game. He, he will love that, I can tell you. He will be so pleased with that. Deputising for Matteo Piano, the captain. Brisa in, Kaziski, good pass perfect from Porro it's a good decision making all the right calls at the moment Ishikawa's the hot arm that was the right play to go for and even though Piacenza was stacked up here on the pipe they did not close the gap in fact Romano deserted his post quite early Regas off pace catches them out 
That was a very tired looking pass from Yoandi Liao. It's a nothing serve. They keep their side out game intact. Big serve from Liao. Edge of the envelope stuff again. Fair Regas puts it away. Great bump set from Poro. Terrific swing from the Belgian. Everything at the moment going Milano's way. Layout. Sacrificed again. And in comes Robert Andringa of the Netherlands for passing duties against the Ishikawa serve. Terrific hit. Lucarelli beaten. Ishikawa takes his team to 13. I think Piacenza are done. What a serve. Ishikawa, 16 points. Vitelli, 16 points. Regas, 18. And then Lucarelli on 16. Romano on 18, weighing in for Piacenza. But I don't think it's going to be enough. This is the golden opportunity of opportunities for Milano to beat Piacenza for the first time this season. A five-point lead, but more importantly, two points away from the match. And if that ends up as the result, that sets up this quarter-final quite incredibly. Leg two in Milano is going to be a party that Piacenza will be hoping to spoil. Ishikawa off the back of the timeout. Puts it in court and out off the pass of Scamfurla. Ace again. A double ace for Ishikawa. Brings up six incredible match points for Milano. That one moved a long way. Now, can he hit the hat-trick? Clinical finish for Milano. Pretty gun faces amongst the Piacenza officials. It is a super serve. Recine puts it in court. Kaziski tries to force his way through the block, but can't just clipped him on the way past it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter look at that scoreline one pass one set one hit and Milano win the game Brizza out the backup setter has come in Diaz much shorter player than Brizza so it's not going to provide any yeah, improvement in the block Simon can he be the saviour he's tried it, Catania good pass not the best out of the back in fact it was Losa attacking and Kaziski charges under the net, he's put his foot on the Piacenza court the answer agrees, sorry got a bit lost on that point there, Losa attacked from so far off the net room and in fact it wasn't a fault from the foot point of view it was a fault because it went the wrong side of the antenna to be playable and Roberto Piazza ever the professional says no let's stop it there four points in hand let's just reassess where we are what we're doing Game one in this quarter-final is at their mercy. Piacenza's hopes are with the big man, Robert Landis Simon, at the service line. Oh, wow. Pounds it off his own player and away. And Milano 
complete a quite fabulous game one victory. The quarter-final tilts in Milano's favor as they beat Piacenza in. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and make sure to subscribe to Power Volleyball for more volleyball videos.